everybody. I want to do this video because I uh, well, this, the idea for the video came about when I was looking for I was looking through videos of you know Michael Clark Duncan, you know, everyone talking about his passing. I ran across this one video where he had did a video for PETA, a commercial or a message for PETA. And uh, if you don't know about PETA, you know there are animal activists and um, a lot of them are vegetarians, they don't believe in hurting animals and you know they want to take care of animals and keep people from treating them and slaughtering them you know um, heartlessly and you know things like that but anyway uh, I didn't know that he had recently become a vegetarian and he talks about how um, you know the body doesn't need as much protein, you know, you got a guy sitting down eating a 20 ounce steak to think that he can get all this muscle from it. And as you know, he was a big man, six foot five, 300 pounds. So he had recently, you know, became a vegetarian. And, uh, you know, he talks about how he was an animal lover. And uh, once he saw and found out how animals were treated in slaughterhouses, it totally changed, you know, how he said he immediately just went and took out, took $5,000 worth of meat out of his freezer and refrigerator and just gave it to friends and neighbors because he was done with it. I'm going to post the link to the video that he did and the other two videos that I found from PETA. And I, y'all know me, if you saw my last video about animal cruelty, um, then you understand how I feel about it. You know, I have a real issue with hurting animals. You know, you see that they have intelligence. They can solve problems, they have emotions, they have family units, and see the way I feel, if the world went back to the Stone Age, I wouldn't have the heart to kill animals. If you can survive on nuts and berries and other fruits and vegetables, that'd be me, because <laughs> shit, I get bothered just by my pet being sad, whining, or if he's hurt. That that yeah, that bothers me in my core. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, sometimes I look at, think about this. See, as y'all know, I think. And a few of you uh, liked my last couple videos, you know, where I went into detail. Basically, you see how my mind works. And when I think about this, when I think about how these animals are slaughtered, and when you see this, it's gonna be hard to watch. I assume a few of y'all gonna cry um, a few you may just immediately convert to being vegetarians. Wait till you see how they treat these animals. But what it makes me think about is, for those of you that are religious, I'm not really um, religious right now, but I am spiritual. In other words, you know, I do believe in a good divine force out there, but I'm not sure who he or what it is. But my question is, for those that are very religious, and if he is a very loving God, um, animals themselves actually eat each other. And if you know that they are in pain, they can experience fear, they have family units, when they're separated, you know, it causes massive amounts of stress, just like when a child is taken away from a human. Why would God permit that? I saw a video on YouTube of hyenas. If I can find it, I'll post that. Hyenas attacking a pregnant wildebeest, ripping the baby from its womb, tearing it, tore it apart as it came out, and then proceeded to eat the mother alive. You see what I'm saying? Like, my whole thing is, if God is love, why would he create animals that can do this to each other? Or would he permit it? You know what I mean? I don't know. It's just as a person who thinks a lot, you know, as you can see, the rabbit hole goes deeper and deeper and deeper for me because I just can't understand the certain amount of cruelty that by nature, by nature, just happens in this world. There ain't no way humans do to each other, which is despicable, the stuff, the way we've slaughtered each other, you know. Some of us eat each other. But to know that animals also do the thing, same thing. See, the thing is, the way of what I'm thinking is, 
And the po- I guess the questions that I'm posing to you is, you know, PETA stands for, you know, not eating animals, for treating them justly. But the, the flip side is animals also kill each other and do despicable things to each other. So it's like, where are you with it? You know what I mean? Like, from the way that I see the way humans treat animals, it makes me not want to eat the meat that's sold by these companies. I mean, there's just there's, there's what people call, I guess, being slaughtered kosher. Um, you know, I guess, slit the animal's throat, let it bleed out, and, you know. That in itself, I mean, shit. I, if I was to string you upside down and slit your throat, I think that would be absolutely, absolutely traumatizing for you. So, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I mean, just like any other person out there. I love a good damn hamburger. You know what I mean? You know, chicken, you know, beef, whatever it is out there. You know, seafood, fish. You know, the videos go into how pigs are treated. It's it's horrible. Wait till you see it. Pigs, chickens, uh, turkeys, cows, um, fish. How they're even treated on those those farm raised fish that you buy at the stores, it's ridiculous. And it's like, damn, you know what I mean? I'm at some type of crossroad morally as a human. There's nature versus what my own gut may, may tells me and how I feel when I see things like this. You know what I'm saying? I know most of my videos are funny. But this is one of the videos, a few videos that I have that are pretty, it's like, I'm getting deep with this. Tell me what y'all think about it. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't, it's deep. It's deep. Because if you're religious, and then you got God saying in the Bible, in particular, that it's okay to eat animals now after the flood. Well, why would he say that? And they never gave a reason for it. If we were all eating, you know, we were hunter-gatherers just eating berries and nuts and fruits and vegetables what would cause him to say that now we can eat animals I don't get that you know there's a lot of people that don't believe in evolution um, I don't know if I actually do some people believe creation and evolution go hand in hand in other words God caused evolution to happen whatever you know I'm, I'm not really on either side but there seems to be from fossils to be evidence of possibly both or them being one, I don't know. You know, you got certain animals you can tell are related to another animal through the ages and they had canines that they're saying are, what, 50,000 years old, few million years old. So if that is true, if it's true, then did these animals evolve and they were eating meat way back then? But wait a minute. So the Bible says, I think that the earth is what, either four or 5,000 years old, something like that. Don't quote me on that. So then, yeah, see what I'm saying? Then you start thinking, okay, well, if the Bible says this, but then these artifacts that we're finding say this, then what's true? You know what I'm saying? Those that are strict religious are going to say, well, whatever the Bible says is true. And then those that are very scientific are going to say, well, science says this. And they're also going to say, well, man wrote the Bible. And they're going to say, well, then religious are going to say, well, um, you know, a man was inspired by God to write the Bible. But then the scientists are going to say, well, there's no evidence of that. You know, like personally, personally, in my own view, um, don't view me any wrong way, but I used to be very, very religious, and so I started to find certain holes in organized religion. And, um, you know, I just started to think, well, why is it? that every time I guess God will have something to say, he sends a man to do it, or there's some writings. I personally would prefer if a huge voice voice came from heaven and told me who he was, showed me who he was, and told me what to do. I think that'd be very easy to understand rather than some guy saying, well, hundreds and thousands of years ago, the Lord told our forefathers to write this. Yeah, I was just seeing is believing and understanding. Then you get into this whole thing. See, I'm getting on to a whole nother thing here. You start talking about faith and, you know, uh, what the definition of faith is. And then, you know, there's people that say, well, you know, faith is just a way to explain things that people can't explain. So if you say, well, God did this and God did that. And you say, well, how? Well, you got to have faith. But you can use faith to prove false teachings. 
You got what I'm saying? So faith can be used on both sides. You know what I'm saying? Pe people use it in success. You got to believe it. You know, even though you haven't achieved it yet, you got to believe that you can achieve it. it you know, it, it, see what I'm saying? The shit gets deep, y'all. Shit gets deep. You know, things get confusing. And I try not to worry myself too much about these things. I just believe that as far as long as I keep moving forward, eventually truth will be revealed to me. If I'm seeking truth, it will eventually be revealed to me. So, without getting totally off subject, tell, you know, all my thinkers out there that subscribe to me, tell me what you think about this whole, the way people treat animals, you know, um, the way we slaughter them, the way we eat them, the way we uh, treat them, the way we use them for their fur and everything else that they can give us versus what nature itself shows us. You just watch predatory animals and stuff like that, how they kill each other, what they do. You know, I've seen fish attack each other, one attack one in, one then totally pull the head off of a fish and the other one's chomping the body. I mean, is that any different than what we do to them? And if, if nature is programmed, then since that's okay, doesn't make it okay for us to do what we do. You know what I'm saying? Why does my human nature make me hurt when I see animals being treated like that? You know what I'm saying? If nature is programmed in its instinct and nature says it's okay, if this is the way nature just normally operates, why does it bother me and my core to see it operate like that? I don't know. All right, y'all. Comment below. Tell me what you think. I'm going to try to find all the three or four videos. The Wildebeest being eaten, the two PETA, and the Michael Clark Duncan. I'll post all four below. Tell me what y'all think. Talk to you later.